All right, let's get this thing started. So we'll open it up again to kind of show you what we did here. So we'll just go to open. Uh, and this is all the files that we have inside of Diesel. So this is what we're gonna be making today. So this is a clearance plate for our Delta 36725 table saw. So as you can tell, we mostly got it designed here. Uh, we'll just kind of show you guys the, the look around what it uh, is gonna do. So we just scroll by, let you see everything. We zoom in close to make sure there's no uh, crazy details that we're missing. Uh, the only thing on this one, you can see that it's kind of coming up above here uh, and on the corners, but that's fine. It's waste material on the outside of this anyway. This gives you a preview of what it's gonna look like. Uh, you can click it and rotate it around however you want. Uh, you can double click and drag it. So if we want to zoom in, we could zoom it in, click on it, take it back and we could look at it all the way through. So uh, we'll zoom back out since we know what we're doing. Click on it, drag it over so we can see everything. So now we're ready to go into, let's check our cut settings. As you can tell here, it's a 24 by five and a half by a half inch thick uh, PCB pine common board. We'll be using a one eighth bit to do this entire carve. Uh, you can add an additional bit right here. Go to cut settings, it's gonna give you a recommended feed, plunge, depth. You could also go to custom. So this is 0.02, which we already made as a custom. Uh, standard is 0 0.005, which takes a little while. So we like to do the custom side. Once we get it to here, we can just simulate and it'll tell us how long it's actually gonna take. So three hours and seven minutes to do this with a 1 8 bit. So what we'll do is add in a second bit the 1 8 to do the center carve and then a quarter inch in order to mill all this out uh, it should take our time down significantly so we'll go ahead and just, let's go ahead and change the first bit let's change it to got the v bits let's change it to the other uh we'll do point two two five zero cool thing about cnc is you got to know your decimal points in order for it to make sense so that'll be a quarter inch we know that the detail bit will be a one eighth so that'll give us everything we need there now we'll simulate it again and see what it does well that didn't work all right guys so that went up but we figured out what the problem was. We go to cut settings, you can see that the depth per pass went back to 0 0.015. So we'll just go ahead and knock those down to 0.25. Once you learn your machine, you'll understand these parameters for your own machine. So we'll change this one 0.25. Uh -huh. Let's go to custom and then it'll let us do it. There we go. 0.25. You gotta be smarter than your machines. All right, so 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Let's see what our time goes to. There we go, 13 minutes and then 37. So 37 is just gonna do a detail, clean up all the way around. That's what you see with your green lines here. Uh, your red ones is going to be a quarter inch, greens is your one eighths. So 13 minutes to do the main addition out and cut out the outside. And then 37 minutes to cut out the area for your riding knife and your start of your blade, as well as clean up all the other cuts here. So there we go, 13 minutes plus 37. Now we'll do a bit change in between. So at 13, it'll return back to home. Shut the router off, change out your bit, hit go again, and it'll follow the same tool path, just with a new bit. So the machine's already got all that programmed in, so it knows exactly what to do. What we were doing there, so as the bit went uh, right, it would hit here, left here, as you can guess, forward and back. Uh, our Z probe is our up and down. Uh, and you're able to move it in these four increments. Uh, we try to stay with the .01 just for uh, dialing it in. Uh, then we'll hit uh, set to X, Y, zero. Then we will go to the spindle is on once we turn the router on. And next thing is up is to hit the cover. And that's a look into easel.